Oh, whoops, mate. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I get to talk about something that's e-waste and drum rubbish. Phew, did I start smelling neon orange in here? Oh, that's because it's the 1980s. <laughs> this box is epic. There's too much stuff to laugh at. Um, this kind of looks like a novelty for drummers, and I just need to get something out of the way. So, a lot of you guys know that playing the drums is the thing that I actually know how to do. But I just want to quickly point out what a big deal drumsticks are. To basically everybody, they're just two bits of wood. And you know, you're not wrong. It's wood. But these are literally an extension of my body. I play Vaders, and I love their sweet rides. Like, the drumsticks literally change how your cymbals sound. Sticks are so important to me. You know, without them, my technique gets thrown off, mate. Sorry, mate. It's just the job, isn't it? I'm bringing this up because this video is probably going to inspire a lot of people, like, who've got drummer friends to get them, like, a fun novelty. And a lot of people go for novelty sticks. I had light-up sticks once. They're horrible. You never actually want to play drums with them. It feels like they're floppy and all over the place. So if you actually do want to give your drum mate, like, a bit of a neat present, like, get him a drum key. This one's, like, 50 years old. This is, like, the crappiest key you can get. Because drums use these to tune them with, and that's what these for. Look, it's got the square bit in it, mate. Revolution drum make this. They call it the survival key. Oh no! Unwind this out and then you wind it in here. Boom. You've got a really good drum key in an emergency and it shrinks back down to this. This is probably my favorite keychain ever. And for you ultra hardcore out there, mate, they actually make drill bit ones. All right, back to the sticks. <laughs> so yeah, these are an extension of my arms. My drumsticks are so important to me. And uh, boy, do I love it when there's crap hanging out the back of them. <laughs> Look, two watches, two. Are they trying to be punny? Being like, oh, mate, it helps me keep time while playing the drums. Fingerless, knuckleless leather gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Heat sticks, electronic drumsticks with amplifier. There it is. Your own portable rhythm section. That's rubbish, because the rhythm section is drums, bass, piano, and or guitar, right? That's the rhythm section. It's a big thing, it's not just drums. No services needed to create real drum sounds. How many sounds could you get out of this? Like, how are you gonna do the bass drum and the cymbals and whatnot? Cause, I don't know, maybe there's controls on it. Even modern electronic drum kits still don't always sound very realistic, <laughs> let alone a toy from the 80s. Portable, well, so is Frank, and I don't take her everywhere. Electronic sensor registers any stick movement. Well, that's not good, because you only want it to make sounds when you want it to, right? Soft tips won't mask services. Well, that's good, actually, and then it'll be less annoying with noise. On-off volume control. There we go. The best feature of all. <laughs> what? Look at this. Wow. That haircut is sharp, man. Well, I'm going to cut my eyeballs looking at it. That acid-washed denim jacket. He better be double deniming. Why don't they make denim socks? Nothing. Same thing. All right. It's time to do it. I want my hit sticks. I want them. Oh! Oh, are these new? There's my amplifier. It's yellow. Okay. Yep, this is the 9 volt days. I mean, guitar pedals still use 9 volts and all that, but... Mm. Coily cables, awesome. My least favorite. Oh, and two of them double the misery. Man, these are in their plastic. This is awesome. Can you believe no one bought this? <laughs> Hit sticks, TM electronic drumsticks. And so on the battery, I can figure that out. Operating your hit sticks, electronic drumsticks. Rotate the volume control away from off to turn on the unit. 1989. Excellent. I knew it stunk of the 80s. Huh? Handle your drumsticks gently and carefully. You, no, uh, 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 uh. Like, Here's the new set of Sweet Rides, right, brand newies. These are the ones I'm currently using in my drum stream. Look at that before and after. <laughs> Use them gently and carefully. They're drumsticks! Keep your drumsticks from dust and dirty. That is almost a sentence. I'm starting to get the vibe that these might be terrible. All right, come on. Oh, oh they're not new at all. <laughs> they're just barely used. Well, that's... <laughs> That's not a good sign when someone's decided to actually put them back in the plastic and box them up. Do they have the rubber tips? They do have rubber tips, no lies just yet. Oh, I hate these coily cables. Even on headphones, I hate these things. The whole idea is that you've got a long cable when you need it and a short cable when you want it. When you want a short cable, it scrunches up like this, 
but then it just gets heavy and baggy and tangled. And when you need it longer, you have to put tension on it so it's stretching. And when it's coming out of the back of your drumsticks, that feels terrible. Oh, mate, got to get the 9 volt out. I love that they make lithium ones of these. Oh, gosh, this isn't new. I hope this works. Oh, there's no headphone out either. There's nothing. So I can't even send this signal anywhere. Does it turn on? Oh, yes, good. I heard a noise. Oh, okay. No. That's... Oh, that's not a snare drum noise. That's literally the sound of static. Your own portable rhythm section, real drum sounds. So, I mean, I've read the manual. I, it doesn't mention anything how to get different sounds out of this. I'm not seeing any controls on it, nothing. They're just these orange looking dopes. Is that why this is dirty? No, nothing. Uh, no, no, that can't be the only noise it makes. No, no, uh-uh, I'm, I'm getting, just shut up. I'm getting upset! Care and maintenance, don't use them. I mean, that's, that's what I'm tempted to do. Operating your hit sticks. Rotate the volume. Oh, I've done that. Strike the drumsticks in any surface or just fan them in the air. Oh, my, I tried that! I did that! For more fun, whoa, try me. You can snap the amplifier case to your belt and you can take the drumsticks with you. You know, just for fun, you can smash your head against the floor, right? Think of all the attention you'll get as people crowd around you. When you finish playing your drumstick... Oh, no! Are you kidding me? That's the only noise they make! That's it! The oh! Radio Shack, you pile of rubbish! Look how, like, crazy awesome this looks! It's... You, you want two watches for this?! This is the most oversold thing I've ever handled. Like, all of this mess to make this noise. Can I even practice rudiments with this thing? I'm gonna do a paradiddle. <laughs> they just descend into a blur. Like, that you can't hear the sticking. Radio Shack, mate. You've done it. Oh, I, I, I'm so proud of you. What you've done is turn 35 bucks Australian from 1989. Never mind that professional top of the line drumsticks are not expensive. And you've made something that is worse than tapping on a table. For less money, you could actually get closer to the real thing. A nice pair of sticks, shut up. A, oh, every time you touch them. Oh. A nice pair of sticks and like some sort of surface to hit against. You can actually learn the drums. You can't learn nothing with these. What a mess. What an absolute nightmare for technique. This has to be one of the most aggressively low tier things I've ever seen. But what they said drum sounds, not sound. It doesn't say, hey, replicate the worst sounding snare drum in the world. I wasn't gonna do this, but now I'm really mad. Um, I think there's really only one thing left to do. Let's head to my drum room. Frank, sit still. Frank, sit still. No, no, Frank. Frank, Frank, damn it. No, stay, you're getting out of, Frank. Oh, Frank, you're pointing a snooty booper right at the right spot. Mate, we're in the float plane drum stream, huh? Well. We gotta do the, the sweet rides first so you can hear the difference. Doesn't that sound like a real drum? Gotta clip it onto me belt! It lasted one hit. I think that
that's more because whatever's in it is so stinking terrible that. <laughs> what, what about the other one? <laughs> Mate, the iPod sticks. I actually made it to bust out the Scarlet Fire. What? Oh, it's ogre. It's all ogre. Oh, they stink. Put my Smoko shirt on for this. Oh, can you believe that's a low tier bought out pile of rubbish and it literally broke on the first hit on a real drum. And well, that's it. <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here because my $1 a month, I do it to videos. I've got garbage time, which is my car thing and the drum thing is my drum thing. And I do streams on float plane like this, ta-da. And uh, yeah, but like, this week's after show, mate, is like, you know, I'm gonna play you a private concert. A private concert here of a song that I don't play anymore. I, I don't ever wanna play it anymore, but I'm gonna play it for you. Pepsi, man. A and that's what you're gonna get. So thanks so much, mate. I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Put two different drum heads on. Well, oh, Frank, you scared me! Normally when she gets this wiggly, she's going to leave. Look at her. Look how wide she is. Look at her eyes. She... <laughs> uh, see you, Frank. In fact, I'm gonna head her off just cause it's gonna be really funny. She's in that box, right? It's my Frank in her box. It's gonna be so funny when she goes, Ooh, and comes out, we'll see. <laughs>